Well, here he is. Hi. We can welcome, look how pleased he is, eh? After uh, a couple of weeks in solitary confinement, Vivo, welcome. Thanks, mate. I think a lot of people thought that I wasn't real. <laughs> you know, I've been talking <laughs> about getting coach. here, virtual coach, but yeah. Uh, yeah, really, really excited to be here. You know, like I feel like I'm in my happy place. Yeah. I'm back on the floor, great group of guys, and uh, had two sessions now, so I'm. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, straight into it on Easter weekend too. You were telling me yesterday you didn't even realise it was yep. Easter. You no, lost track of time. Totally lost track of time and you know, it was like I found out, oh yeah, we might be able to get in. So I said, oh, let's do it. I, it was more for me. But, uh, you know, I've to been, train on Good Friday? Well, it was never about, <laughs> I didn't know it was Good Friday. Yeah, you know, it was like I got in trouble from my, my wife and my mum so for, for scheduling. And I, I actually did feel a bit bad about that. But, but then again, it was like, hey, you know, I've been trapped in a hotel for you know, a couple of weeks and yeah. stuff like that. So it, it was good for my mental health to get on the floor. Yeah, so, so tell us about uh, two weeks inside. I mean, how did you, you, you keep yourself busy, obviously, with the team as well, virtually, yeah. literally. Yeah. yeah, well, last year I went through 39 days of quarantine. Like, this is take two for me. So yeah. I got st stuck here last year. For, we still feel bad about that. Uh, <laughs> it's like one of those things that, but uh, so I, I sort of knew what to expect. So did in. that make it easier or harder coming into it? Uh, um, when I first knew that I was coming back and I, I actually did feel anxious. Yeah. I, you know, at times it, like the heart would, I couldn't get my breath at times, but, but I tried to get my focus. I kept myself really, really busy. So I worked out 21 Zoom meetings. So I had individual meetings with all the players and you know, staff and stuff like that. It allowed me to do planning. Uh, so every day I structured myself to make sure I did that rather than just sitting in a room. Uh, one of the, the really good things about the quarantine here in, in New Zealand is that we're allowed out of our room uh, for 50 minutes a day to start off with to get in the there's a courtyard downstairs and we just walk in circles like zombies. We're out in circles but it was good to get out to get some actual fresh air. Uh, which was really, really important. And, and also the room I in, uh, the, the sun boomed uh, beam through the, the window and, and that was good as well. So I really had a really good structure of meetings, planning, exercise. The food was good. You know, I, I was pleasantly surprised with the food because yep. uh, when I was there in Sydney for, for two weeks, it was terrible. The, the food was really bad, but I felt that uh, they've done a really, really good job now of, of, of taking care of uh, the, the, the welfare of everybody in the hotels. Yeah, because because I don't know how much detail you want to go in, but you were saying your experience when we had the false start last year, yep. particularly going home, and, you know, that, well, you didn't have a great experience uh, for quarantining back in the no, Australia. No, no, it was, um, I basically went, I mean, I, I was quarantined here as well, but then when I got into Sydney, I was in a, a room that had no air and it had no sunlight. And it, it really, when I got out, um, I felt that I was, my, I had no concentration, I was forgetful. I honestly thought that maybe I'm, I've got onset of dementia, you know, Alzheimer's. And I went to the doctor and, and explained the symptoms. And he uh, was diagnosed, diagnosed me with uh, seasonal attention disorder, which is called SAD. Right. And so basically that happens to people that are confined, you know, like mm -hmm. cabin fever and you, 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 you nearly go nuts. So it was, uh, it was a really tough experience, and what I needed was the prescription, get out and walk in oxygen, get, get, get the air into your, your lungs, and get the sun, get vitamin D. So I had those two things when I was in quarantine. So yeah. it's something that you know, people probably don't really think too much about it, but, but uh, you know, I think they've done a really good job of the, the welfare of people, uh, a lot better than when it first started you know, 12 months ago. So I know how stoked you are to be out and into it, you know, as we are too, obviously. It's particularly after uh, after the circuitous uh, route, I guess, we've, we've yeah. taken to get here. So, I mean, how, how good has it been getting in with the guys and, you know, obviously the group that you've got together? You must be pissed for these uh, next couple of weeks leading yeah, into the season. Yeah, re really excited because, you know, we've done a lot of talk, you know, done a lot of planning and, yeah. and you know, we watch a lot of video and you know, given them roles, responsibilities and stuff like that. But as I said, for me to actually physically get on the floor you know, it's been, it's been a while. I mean, I've done a lot of coaching with individuals and, you know, coach educate, a lot, a lot of stuff, but to have you know, my own team again yeah. and to be able to, to work with these players with a, with a common vision of becoming the best that we can be yeah, has been exciting. Outstanding, mate. Righto. Keep up the good work and welcome again. Mate, absolutely awesome. Cut and look forward to seeing everybody real soon.